What's going on? My name is Jason Parks of The Media Captain. Today I'm gonna to talk about changing the publish date within articles on your website. Uh, this is a gray area. A lot of people, they change the article and the publish date uh, to reflect a more recent date to benefit their site when it comes to the search results on Google. In the snippet on Google, of course, Google a lot of times shows the date. And if you have an outdated article, um, what happens is people might be less likely to click on this. So people manipulate the game and they change the publish date. Uh, I'm going to walk through this entire process because uh, like I mentioned, it's a gray area. And I'm gonna tell you the best practices that you should take for your website and for your company to make sure that you're following Google's guidelines and that you don't run into any issues down the road. The best practice when it comes to changing the publish date is that you shouldn't change the publish date. That is the date that the article was published and that should stay as is. What you can do is you can modify the publish date to let people know that the article was updated. So let's say if there was an incorrect fact within an article and you go back and you modify it. That is an example of the article getting modified. Even if there is new information that you add to an article, like if Google Analytics switches from UA to GA4 and you want to modify that information, that should be modified. Uh, so I would not change the publish date uh, because that could be viewed as deceptive. When it comes to changing the publish date, let's say you have an article that's so dated and no longer relevant that you just decide to completely rewrite the new thing. There's a new URL attached to it. You might redirect the old article into the new article for SEO purposes. If you're gonna write a completely new article um, and maybe take snippets of information from the old one, then yes, it would be a new publish date because you're publishing a new article. But in terms of when you're just going back and modifying, the date should just be modified. The issue when it comes to the publish date and having a modified date is that in a lot of WordPress sites, there's not a place to modify the date. You could just go in and um, change the publish date and it's gonna, like it sounds, change the publication date. But there's not an area that differentiates publish date versus uh, modified date. WP Last Modified is a great plugin and it gives you this ability to modify and then within the articles, uh, it is going to make it very evident. This is the date that the article was published. This is the date that it was modified. In closing, I would say the best practice is to modify the dates of when your articles were modified versus changing the publish date. The last thing that you wanna have happen is Google ding your site uh, because they see that it is unauthentic in the way that you are changing all of your published dates. Um, so I would just play it safe, add a modified date, and that will reflect more accurate information. My name is Jason Parks of The Media Captain. If you ever have any questions, you can contact me at themediacaptain.com.